at the black star in our colors is from Marcus Gun. Okay. So Marcus Gun, the black star line. You know, our first president was a Pan Africanist, and Marcus Gabe was a Pan Africanist. The difference between Pan Africanist, that I mean, the Pan Africans believe that Africans have our systems, and they will not trade the system for anything. When you went to the market, I always say when you go into the Walmart or whatever, you can do a one million dollar shopping and come out. If you want, we do say hi to anybody. Isn't that right? Because everything is priced up. You just pick up and then you go there, you either pay, I don't even pay, you can pay that one million dollar cash, pay with your credit card. But here, the Pan-Africanness is what we take you through, the haggling, the conversation, the dialogue, the negotiation that goes uh, in between us. Yeah, the battery system. So that is how the, this, uh, we call it the bargain, that's how we call it, that's, that's a Pan-African, that's our system. And therefore, uh, talking about African Union, he borrowed the Black Star from Marcus Garvey. And if you realize, most African countries, we have stars. It may be red, white, or black. That is the lone star of, Af star of Africa. See with a star, whether black moon, white moon, the stars will shine. Even after heavy rain, it starts to shine. So Africa shines forever. That is what it means. This is the second largest square by estimated uh, surface area to Tiananmen Square in China. And that's our national ceremonial grounds. Uh, the very first black American president to come to Ghana was uh, the only one <laughs> Clinton. <laughs> Clinton. <laughs> I like that. That's funny. I don't know he's gonna do that. <laughs> then he came and prepared the ground for our brother Barack Obama. And right from there. Number 45, maybe America. Number 45, I love it. They only want to call his name. <laughs> because right from, right from uh, Clinton, the three other that followed, the two others that followed, they all came to Ghana. Bush was the one that stayed longer for four days. The George Bush what. Highway. <laughs> What? Came in. Yeah, he came here for four days. I don't know what he came to do. No, he built, they, they, built, they built a highway in his name, a highway, the George Bush Highway. We named a highway after him. Uh, a nice highway, too. <laughs> okay, for left, then, of course. Uh, anyway, he's a man. Okay, for all your friends, for all right, then. For all right, Okay. Uh, yeah. As a head of state. Yes. So, I don't know what they... You know, Bush that, let our people die in New Orleans doing the club. His father was a Jew, Kwame Nkrumah. His father. When, 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 when... Name the highway. Yes, I'm coming to that. When, when Bush Senior, after he became the president, one-time president, right, of the U.S., and he was asked, Mr. President, what has been your greatest achievement? He said, the overthrow of Kwame Nkrumah. Wow. Wow. Yeah, Kwame Nkrumah's overthrow was a very big. I told you when he said, at long last, the battle has ended. Ghana, your beloved country, is free forever. We are going to show it to the world and the other nations that the black man is capable of handling his own affairs and that the independence of Ghana is meaningless until it's linked with the total, total liberation of Africa. Then we said, hey, then that was the time. At the end of the day, he had signed the overthrow, his overthrow. Because he was a thorn in the flesh of the West. And you see, Bush, I mean, that Nkrumah was a very strategic president. He said Ghana was a non aligned country during the Cold War. So if he wanted something in the East, he could go for it. If he wanted something from the West, he could go for it. You heard about the Volta River. We dammed the Volta River to create a Volta Lake, the largest man-made lake with surface water in the world for electricity. The reason was Kaiser wanted 
aluminium aluminium in Ghana. We have bauxite and Kaiser Group of Companies. Yeah, yeah. Yes, so yes, yeah. aluminium. They wanted to mine the cows. So we said, okay, we need this. Dump this river. But they didn't want to do it because the American government didn't want to do it. Mm -hmm. And Kwame Nkrumah told them, okay, the Russians are ready. They want to give us the money. And they went panicking because Aswan High Dam in Egypt was built by the for the Egyptian by Russia. Mm -hmm. So to them, Russia had fallen. I mean, Egypt had fallen to the east. Mm -hmm. Should Ghana also fall to the east? That would be a very big blow. Mm -hmm. Ghana is a very strategic country Absolutely. in West in Africa. Yeah. Very strategic. Yeah. They know the secret. Okay. Yeah, so I was to for lunch. So, I let you look up, look up, look up, So, Ghana is very strategic. They know the secret. Maybe Ghanaians have not even comprehend the secret. We don't yeah. even know the secret. I, th yeah. I think we don't know the secret. But I don't know the secret behind Ghana. And I'm telling you, number 45, my time because he already sent the wife here. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's strategic the daughter, right there. His daughter come too? I don't know, but, no, come, <laughs> but, but he already sent the wife here. Yeah. I heard yeah. Ivanka so he's going to come. come? And it's a, it's a, you know, in America, it's a, it's a strategic, it's a, forget about the different parties, but then there's something they all have in common. We did, we hearing of them opening uh, military base here, blah, 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 oil, blah, you know, 